OG Lee in the house once again, once again. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Yesterday, uh, we lost Kobe Bryant, one of the uh, greatest, if not the greatest players of all time in the National Basketball Association. And uh, he died in a helicopter crash. And he died, I think, with eight other people, um, something like that, to include the pilots and everything. Everybody in the, in the uh, helicopter was, was killed. And uh, a lot of people loved uh, Kobe. A lot of people loved the hell out of Kobe. He was a good, good dude. Black, white, red, or brown, a lot of people loved Kobe Bryant. And um, so, you know, everybody's kind of in a mourning. It's like a national mourning, especially, to be honest, for black people. And um, in the midst of that, here this comes. It seems like he was just the kind of athlete, the kind of star that was perfectly cast on the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers. Kavita, if I could ask you to stay with us, we're going to go oh uh, to Bill. So here is a white news anchor who uh, makes a mistake, and instead of calling the Los Angeles Lakers by that name, she called them the Los Angeles Niggers. Now. I like to give ben uh, people the benefit of the doubt. So I looked it up and looked it up and looked here and looked there and looked here. And I finally saw where she gave an explanation. And she says that she said the Los Angeles knackers. Now, when you hear it, do you hear knackers? On the Los Angeles knackers. On the Los Angeles knackers. So, so what did you hear for her to even try to give that explanation? Knackers and niggers sound nothing alike. Nakers, nakers, nakers. Now, since most people, most people have established that she did use the word nigger, so we have to now ask the question, why? Right? Because clearly, nakers and nigger is not the same, and that's not what she said. So I asked myself, how did you, in your mind, how did you get those, get that mixed up? Right? Because we know about slips, Freudian slips and all, but how did you get niggers and lakers? mixed up in your mind, huh? Because it's happened to us. But now, if she would have said nakers or even knackers, I could have I bought that because that's relatively close. So you can get a, a, a letter intertwined in there to make a different word. But when you look at the, 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 the word itself, lakers and then niggers, how do you misrepresent that, right? So I'm contending that the, the word nigger or niggers was on her mind. It had to be because you don't mix up Lakers and niggers. You, you just don't do it. And so it makes me think now, why was this lady having niggers on her mind? That means that the people that she assumed to be niggers, black people, are living in her mind rent free. They gotta be. Why in the hell would you be having niggers on your mind when one of the greatest black basketball players of all time dies in a heli uh, helicopter crash? The only reason that would be is because white folk are living with niggers in their mind, rent-free. White people are allowing black people to live in their mind, rent-free. That's how obsessed they are with black people. huh? She's probably this white lady who is so obsessed with a black man but cannot get one because her family won't accept her bringing them home. So she's obsessed with that in her mind. It must be. Why would you use the word niggers instead of Lakers? And that, to me, is a bigger story than Kobe Bryant dying. I love the hell out of Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant is, in my opinion, one of the best basketball players of all time. But I'm not sad. I'm happy. I wish they would have his funeral in New Orleans where people jump and shout when people die. Enjoy. Because in, in this case especially, Kobe Bryant has lived a very, very fruitful life. And I don't understand why people say he was only 41. 40, relatively speaking, is a long time to live. But moreover, in the four decades that he did live, man, he accomplished so much. And I'm going to tell you something. If I'm his kids who my heart really bleeds for, I would much rather who, uh, have a dad who showed me a good example, but moreover, <clears throat> left something for me to survive on. See, I, I came up without a dad, and I came up without the dad's sustenance, the dad providing money. The government, in terms of money, was my dad, right? So he, he was a good dad, a hell of a basketball player who left a legacy, and he left 
assets for his family. So to me, I'm not sad for Kobe Bryant. I'm very happy. I'm not happy that he died, but I'm happy for the life that he lived, and that's what I'm rejoicing in. So I don't see any reason to be sad. I'm sad because we're still having white people on days that seem like they're so solemn inject something that seems to just belittle what we're, uh, 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 you know, uh, being so solemn about. It seems like they want to belittle that for some reason. It seems like it always happens. But anyway, I think that this lady should be fired and, as a matter of fact, not let back into any kind of forum involving any kind of anchors or journalists because this makes no sense that they keep having these slips. And again, if it was a legitimate slip, I could, I'd buy into it, even though I don't like uh, uh, some of the things that are, are being said in these slips. But if it were close to where I could see it would be some kind of slip, I might buy into it. As wrong as it might be, I might buy into it. But if you're saying the Los Angeles Lakers and it turns out to be the Los Angeles niggers, you have a problem and I contend that you are allowing, you white lady, you white devil, you are allowing black people to live in your head rent free. That's why you have that word nigger so close on your tongue. So close on your tongue. And your ass needs to be fired. You disrespected the Laker organization during a time when one of the greatest basketball players of all times died in a, a, a helicopter crash. You put the attention on yourself, you nasty white bitch. Now, the first lady, who she sounds like she was white, she paid perfect homage. She paid, she gave him all due respect. He couldn't deny how much he brought to the team, no matter which team, uh, which Lakers team he played on. Huh? You couldn't deny how much he brought to the team, no matter which team, uh, which Lakers team he played on. Absolutely. You couldn't deny what he brought to the team. You could not deny what he brought to the game of basketball. One of the greatest basketball players to have ever played the game. And this white blue eyed devil tries to demean this moment. Why is it in 2020? See, she's not she's not like somebody like that would be, you know, with that on their mind that lived it. Somebody 70, 80 years old. This is a relatively young bitch. And she's still on this nigger thing. Niggers, 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 niggers. I got angry here, mad, because he was a brother, Kobe Bryant. He came into the NBA out of high school, out of high school. Won, uh, I believe it's five rings, five championship rings, five National Basketball Association championship rings. Led an exemplary life for the most part. He had a little slip up, obviously, as we know, uh, and who doesn't, right? But for the most part, led a rather exemplary life. And that's all you could ask. In my opinion, he accomplished something and created such a legacy in basketball that his name will live on forever. And that is not a person that needs to be grouped in the same damn sentence with the word niggers. This is O.G. Lee, and I'll see you again soon. Hey, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you hit this notification bell, it'll let you know every time I knock another video out. Thank you for watching and listening. This is O.G. Lee, and I'll see you again soon.